And we know turbulence is one of the most common airline accident types that we see today. Mm -hmm. That is according to the National Transportation Safety Board. Remember just last week we reported on that incident where more than two dozen people were sent to hospitals because of it. And then in June, an American Airlines flight faced a similar issue. Yeah, Michael Yoshida has more on the rise of this trouble in the skies and how new technology could help make for smoother flights. 25 people taken to hospitals after a Delta flight experienced severe turbulence, causing service carts and unbelted passengers to hit the ceiling and forcing an emergency landing. Today, there is 41% more severe clear air turbulence in the skies over the USA, 55% more over the North Atlantic. Atmospheric science professor Paul Williams says Earth's warming temperatures are making flying conditions worse. That's especially true along busy flight paths, which are near powerful winds in the upper atmosphere called jet streams. Climate change is warming the air to the south of the jet stream a lot more rapidly than the air to the north of the jet stream. Williams says the clashing of increasingly warmer and cooler air is causing more frequent and more severe clear air turbulence, which can't be seen on radar and isn't connected to other visual cues like storms or clouds, meaning it can seemingly hit out of nowhere. A stronger jet stream has what's we, what we call more wind shear in it. That's the wind speed increasing with altitude and more wind shear equals more turbulence. So that's the link from temperatures to the jet stream, to the winds, to the turbulence. According to the National Transportation Safety Board, between 2009 and 2018, flight crews had no warning in about 28% of turbulence-related accidents. Williams, who has studied the topic for more than a decade, says the numbers will keep going up. Still, he and others say flying won't be any less safe, and new technologies could help, from better forecasting models to even artificial intelligence. They can identify patterns that are complex in very uh, high-dimensional data, like what you find in turbulence. In Washington, Michael Yoshida reporting.